Today I'm going to explain the way of three different ways of cooking on an elite machine. Every week I receive phone calls from customers asking the question, do I need a spit machine Steve or a hog tray machine? Well the answer is if you're an elite owner and you're serious about hog roasting then you need to have both. Both do certain things and both have massive advantages over the other, so I'll explain the difference. This is an elite spit machine. It cooks at 6 rpm, it turns at 6 rpm, it's British made, it's my own design and it's just a super machine that cooks beautifully. Um, the, the spit pole turns inside the machine and once it's cooked, it's really simple, the spit pole itself is taken out the gearbox, it lifts up onto the top of the machine, ready for carving. On the spit pole you've got certain tools, I'll just skip through the tools with you. You've got a triangle for the legs, you've got a four prong fork which is for the shoulder area when you're cooking a pig without the head on. Never put that in the rear end, only in the shoulder end where the thickest part of the meat is. You've got two back brackets that in reality are that way up and the plate sits on the outside of the pig's back to hold it securely on the spit. So you have two of those and these are extra long back brackets so if you're cooking a really big pig like a 100 kilo pig and it's something like a Gloucester old spot with a pronounced hump. There's plenty of thread on there to go through the largest of pigs. So you have two of those. You then have a two prong fork and the two prong fork is always used in the rear of the pig. And if I'm cooking it with the head on, I would never use the four prong because you can't, use, you can't get it because the head's in the way. So it's two prong in the rear. And then you've got a second triangle for the second legs. And then you've got an end stop here, and the end stop goes against the side of the machine and stops it coming out the gearbox when it's turning. Now, there's one little tool here as well, I'll just demonstrate this tool to you. This little device is called a carving stop, and what happens, it goes along the spit pole on the outside of the machine, it locks against the box section, you can then put the pig in any, cook, any carving position you want, lock it in position and that's a spit machine. The second option is to cook in a hog tray. Hog tray is really easy and it's very easy to train your staff. Very simple. You haven't got the wow factor of the spit and if I was cooking in a wedding I would always cook on a spit but there are massive advantages to using a hog tray and if you're starting out it's much easier. Let me, ex let me explain. This is a standard hog tray. Do two sizes of tray. This is a standard. This will easy, comfortably cook a pig up to 80 kilos. I cook lots of 90s in there but comfortably an 80 kilo pig. You'll notice that at the end it comes with two end plates and these are designed to be detachable. Two reasons for that. The first one is that it's easier to store in your elite trailer and the second reason is if you do an event, a public event, and you arrive on site early in the morning, nobody's going to want a hog roast bun until lunchtime. So it gives you the ability to take the end plates off the end of the machine. They're simply fastened on with three, three wing nuts. And all you do then is lower your tray with your pigging into the bottom. The pig's back is now not higher than the side of the machine, which enables you to put barbecue plates across and you can barbecue while your pig's still cooking underneath using the same heat. Very cost effective way of taking money. Very popular. In the middle of your hog tray you've got a detachable drainage plug. The tray itself is cross braced so all the dripping runs to the middle and then you've got the option you can either let the dripping drain through the drain plug hole straight into the bottom of the machine or if you do an event catering you can leave the drain plug in, leave the dripping round the pig and when you come to serving mix the stuffing with the dripping which tastes and smells amazing. So back to the hog tray, once it's cooked in the bottom with the end plates on in the normal cooking position, it comes with two bars. The stainless steel bars simply sit across the machine, then the tray is lifted up with oven gloves, slid under the tray, 
and that's your carving position using a hog tray. Your third option is what do you do when you need to do extended serving? You're at a public event where you need to be serving for a number of hours or you're at a hotel in the lazy afternoon serving in the garden at the back of the hotel. So the solution is cook it in a hog tray and this time whether it's on a spit or whether it's in a tray the meat will only stay warm for about an hour to an hour and a half. So what we do is we push the tray to one end of the machine at this end we insert a stuffing tray and we get a conversion plate which then sits neatly under the hog tray The lids go on to the top position. You repeat the same this side. Now on your gas end of the machine, as a chef, so you don't melt while you're cooking and serving, turn your gas off altogether and keep the one on the opposite side, the customer side, on low heat. Within 10 minutes there'll be steam coming out the end of the pig, it'll be beautiful and it'll keep the meat warm and succulent and always above serving temperature for a number of hours. That's the Elite Conversion Kit.